Hello everyone. So another certification week has passed for many of you and more and more of you are reporting those pending and not paid payments in your UI online accounts. Meanwhile, there is a new issue starting to emerge when it comes to those pending payments, specifically those who called into EDD previously to have their pending payments pushed through to paid. Also, the EDD has released their first press release in over two weeks where they discussed the launch of a new information platform called Ask EDD and gave an overall summary of things going on, but they do not address the ongoing issues, especially those pertaining to pending payments. Now, with the growing number of pending payments, many people have attempted to call into EDD to get a resolution to the problem, and for the small percentage fortunate enough to reach somebody, many of those were able to get those payments moved from pending to paid. However, what is happening now is some of those claimants are reporting seeing pending payments once again after their latest round of weekly certifications. What appears to have likely happened is while the representative was able to address the issue with the payments, it was only a temporary fix and they did not address the main issue of why the pending payments happened in the first place. So for those of you who have spoken to EDD to get your pending payments pushed through to paid, please keep an eye out on your payment statuses after the next time you certify again because it may happen to you. It just all depends on the particulars involving your claim. This goes to the main problem, which is EDD is not informing claimants why exactly they have pending payments in the first place because it could be one of several issues. It could be the need to file for a new claim following the end of the benefit year, or that the new claim you filed is still processing, or it could be that ID verification is required, or a phone eligibility interview needs to take place. Now, several claimants have reported getting a hold of EDD only to be notified at that point that they must wait for a phone eligibility interview or that they need to confirm their identity for their claim to be processed. The problem was, they never received any prior notification about these additional steps needed, so it remains to be seen how people are to know any of this in the first place without notification. Also, if you're on a PUA claim and have pending payments, the issue has nothing to do with filing for a new claim. Instead, it is most likely one of the other scenarios, such as ID verification or a phone interview needed to continue your claim. So for those of you who have filed a new claim, you are continuing to wonder how long it is going to take to process. Now the EDD said it could take up to three weeks, but the wait seems to be taking much longer for a number of you. One of our subscribers reported last week that they were told by the EDD it could take up to six weeks to process those new claims. Now the results from the most recent poll I put out were nearly identical to the one released a week ago in which the majority of claimants indicated they have three to four weeks worth of pending payments. And then as you see, the numbers start to drop after that. But at the same time, those waiting five weeks or more is still extremely high. And it was 50% of those who voted in that poll, as you see here. The options for getting any resolution remains the same, especially with EDD field offices still closed. The number one option is to attempt to reach them by phone, but even if you try 60 to 70 times in one day, there is no guarantee you're going to reach someone. The complication with that is there may be specific information the EDD has in regards to your claim that you have no idea about and will not until you actually reach someone. Now EDD has launched their online information platform called Ask EDD. And what it appears to be is just a centralized place to find already existing information on their website. As of when I checked, I did not see anything new that could not be found elsewhere previously. As an example, this is one subcategory. And again, this is information people already know about. As for those eligibility interviews, if you need to take part in one, you are supposed to be notified by mail with a DE4800 form like you see here, giving the date and time the interview is supposed to take place. But like I mentioned earlier, not everyone who is supposed to participate in an interview is receiving one of these. 
Furthermore, this is something that the EDD representatives over the phone are not able to assist with further and are instructing claimants to just wait to receive notification. Now, there are those who are still struggling to get their identities verified through ID.me, particularly those who need to speak to a referee to complete the verification process. Many people have reported well over six hour wait times just to speak to somebody to confirm their identity via a web call. Now, a bit of good news is that the CEO of ID.me has addressed this and said those wait times are going to be drastically cut. He said the average six hour wait time in the evenings will come down to about two hours and the morning wait times will average about 30 minutes. If you are experiencing another issue, please reach out to the email address help at id.me for further assistance. Also, there was news a State Assembly Budget Subcommittee regarding EDD accountability held a hearing where they spoke to the director of the EDD in regards to the ongoing issues. At that hearing, the director said she thinks things are going to start improving probably by the end of June, but there was no specific timeline in regards to any of the resolutions needed. However, several assembly members were very direct with their concerns, discussing how the EDD is still dealing with the same underlying issues and wait times since the last hearing. One assembly member even directly discussed the issue of the benefit year end and the need for claimants to file for a new claim. He was very direct on how the EDD should have anticipated this problem in the first place and made the necessary preparations. Now, some good news for those of you who have filed your 2020 taxes before the new tax rule exempting the first 10200 of unemployment benefits was implemented. Those refunds for overpayments will finally start to go out shortly, and I know it is welcome news for many, especially those who have their payments stuck as pending. Those refunds will be delivered to you the same way your tax refund was delivered previously, either by direct deposit or check. So if your bank account information has changed since you received your last tax refund, you will want to update that information with the IRS. Meanwhile, those of you FedEd claimants who have reached a $0 claim balance but are still within your benefit year, you are going to be moved over to a PEUC claim. So that process will begin following the last time you certify for benefits, zeroing out the balance under that FedEd claim. Let us know in the comments section below what particular problem you are currently experiencing. In the meantime, we will keep you posted on any future developments, so please make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.